My name is Dane Grant. I am the coach of the robotics team at George Headley Primary and also a computer teacher. Tell us a little bit about George Headley's robotics club and what it's all about. It is a newly founded club. It started this year, 2024, and we entered the competition a bit late because we didn't know about the competition and we entered with six kids under 12 and they work assiduously in completing the task which is the robot that we have here. Just to clarify what competition is this? It is the World Robotic Olympiad, WRO for short, and it took place at the AC Hotel earlier this year. The competition basically, the theme was Earth Allies, so we had to create a robot that fit into that theme that was beneficial to helping the environment. What we did was we created a solar automated garden and also an autonomous fire truck. Now the solar garden is built with a microcontroller that acts as the brain for the entire system that controls sensors such as the rain sensor, the soil moisture sensor and pumps as well. So when it senses that the plant needs water, it will automatically turn on the pump to water the plant. It will also monitor the level of the water within the tank and also to give an alert when it's low. It also sem senses temperature, humidity, and it also have a solar panel. Well, the solar panel helps to reduce energy wastage. So the fire truck is built with a camera that automatically senses fire. It will drive to the location of the fire and extinguish the fire. And this is done without human intervention. So it's autonomous. What made you or the kids come up with these two ideas? Well, based on the guideline that we got from the competition, we brainstormed a couple of ideas and these were the ones that stood out among the rest. How realistic you, would you say is the fire truck perhaps to be used in everyday life? It is very realistic and there are some versions of it in operation in certain countries. Going forward, you said that there are two competitions that you have coming up. Tell us about those two competitions. Well, we have one competition which is the third place in Puerto Rico and that one is on the 1st of October to the 3rd. We'll be leaving on Monday. The team will be leaving on Monday to showcase what we have done. The team encompasses the six students you mentioned before? No, it's three per team, so three for the Puerto Rico and three for the Turkey. What will be happening in Puerto Rico? All right, so the, as I said before, the competition spans over three days. On the first day, they go, they do their setup, and they interact with the other team, and there will be some judging, same thing on the second day as well, and on the final day, well, yeah, it's basically the same thing, judging all three days, and then we do our pull down, and then we'll be looking to return back to Jamaica. Is it the same team, or something completely different that we will be doing? Well, for Puerto Rico, it's the solar garden, and for Turkey, it's the fire truck. The fire truck came first, and the solar garden came third. Currently, it's very costly because the school is the one that takes on the traveling expenses, the hotel accommodation, and yeah, and also finances the club. So. We are seeking sponsors who are willing to come on if it, to help to offset those costs. Going forward, we like to have like a steady sponsorship where we can have sponsors that we can put on our team shirt when we are going out to represent our country. So first and foremost, I'd like to thank the sponsors that have come on board. We have Mike Rigging Services and we have Pooleville um, Trading Limited to promote or to make money to sponsor the competition. We are also doing internal um, fundraising. For example, Friday coming we're doing a cake sale. So we'd like to thank the parents who support that as well. 
I'd like to thank the principal. She was the one that brought out the brought the competition to my attention, and she has been um, supportive so far. So anything I need, any parts I need, ordered and everything, I can just go to her and she'll provide the funding for those stuff. Also, I have two assistants working with me, so I'd like to thank them as well. They are very um, they are very willing. And yes, I can call on them anytime to do anything as well.